This email marketing flow has the highest revenue per recipient for most of our e-commerce stores that we work with. And if you really want to generate nice bucks per every single email, every single recipient, then you must master this e-commerce email flow that I will talk about in this video. This is called the VIP customer flow. And in this video, I will show you how you can define your VIPs and who should be included and not included. Also, how you should think about the strategy, what incentives to give people, what email copy and design to use, and simply how to use the timing in your email marketing flow. So if you want to learn about this high converting email flow, the VIP flow, stick to the end of this video and you will learn how to do it. This is a very important flow because once you hit something like 50K revenue with your store, you really want to differentiate your customers, your returning customers and your VIP customers. So basically you want to have different tiers and why? Because if you just book email all of your customers with the same email, then you will see the return will be way worse than if you segment out your best, most loyal and, and really, really the VIP customers. So you want to have different offers for these people and you want to have a uh, different uh, flow for these people. So first of all, with your VIPs, you want to be a bit uh, more intimate than you know just with a regular customer because these are your most most trusted uh, customers and followers so they really believe in your product and in your brand that's why you want to make it more like a two-way conversation and you know not just transactional thing so when you launch a new product then they could be the first segment the first uh, people group of people who you can ask what they think about this new product if this new product is good or not you want to give them early access and so on and so on so you really want to value these people and you really want to have a close relationship with them and i love this stat for example sephora so 80 percent of their annual sales it comes from their loyalty program members and i think that's a huge 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 number so sephora if they have a rainy day any rainy day they can save their business relying on these vips so um, what are the rule of uh, thumbs when it comes to the VIP flow? So first of all, you should decide who qualifies as a VIP customer and you have to draw the line. So here are a few typical examples. Someone who placed an order at least three times all time or maybe placed an order at least three times in the last one year or you can use something else, placed order values at least 500 bucks. At the end of the day, you know your business is the best so maybe you have a brand where your AOV is a thousand dollar and not everyone should be a uh, VIP so maybe this shouldn't be 500 bucks it should be more like three times purchase or maybe it can be a value but five thousand dollars so you know end of the day you know your business but uh, we like thinking with the Pareto principle the 80 20 rule so basically you want to have maximum 20% of your customers as your uh, as your VIP customers. Also, I can see that some email marketers, some business guys, they uh, call everyone a VIP in their emails. And honestly, I really hate that approach because it's just a fake VIP, right? And for some, you know, for some emails, for, for a while it works, but after a while, you know, people are not stupid. And if it turns out, and I think it will at some point, that everyone is just a VIP, then uh, people, they just get pissed off and it really devalues your brand so maybe you know even if it works initially I wouldn't suggest that you should uh, do this tech another thing is that you should let people know upfront how they can become a VIP so for example if you pick that uh, they have to spend at least 500 bucks then you want to tell them upfront that uh, hey if you want to be a VIP customer and you can get early access you want to get maybe a lifetime coupon code you know blah 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 all the perks what it comes with then you have to spend at least $500 with our store but it's really worth it so something like this you want to tell people upfront because transparency it really gives them you know just clarity how they can be a VIP and what they can get for it the next thing is what to offer to these people so um, just two weeks ago I shot a video I posted a video about loyalty programs and uh, in that video I talk a lot about this topic but um, 
overall you want to be creative you don't want you don't want to be too transactional so you you know you can use a discount code a bigger discount code than someone else is, uh, can get like a new customer or a new subscriber but you should be more creative than that I already told you a few examples um, Amazon Prime for example their paid loyalty program they have a faster delivery free shipping uh, you can use those uh, higher discounts lifetime coupon codes that they can use and even those people who they refer um, early access to their new products or maybe free tickets to live events or free product samples you know they can get it earlier than any other uh, subscriber or customer so there are various things and honestly Honestly, you as the business owner or the marketing manager you should figure this out you want to serve your customers you want to have phone calls with them but you really want to figure it out because based on that information you can decide how to create a uh, creative loyalty program and now next let's talk about how to set up the filters for this so when it comes to the VIP flow we use a certain segment of the email list of subscribers um, and if anyone joins that VIP segment they enter the flow let me show you what I really mean by this I will go to Clavio and here's this brand and uh, let's say all subscribers they have uh, almost 30,000 people People and I want to create a list and segment and uh, let's say I want to look for the VIP customers and this is a test so what you should really do is just you know play with the segment I know my whole list is around 28,000 people and as I said with the Pareto principle so maximum 20,000 people should be in the VIP segment ideally even less so maximum let's say five six thousand people okay so let's play with this so what someone has done placed order at least uh, once over all time let's hire is at least let's say three times over all time we are looking for five six thousand people let's say okay so actually we got uh, five thousand four hundred twenty eight people so it's pretty close let's say now I want to I want to make it even tighter this segment maybe I just on the top 10% of subscribers so I will do something like let's say purchase at least five times overall time let's see okay so this is 2,000 people so this is roughly less than 10% of subscribers now and uh, I want to build this VIP flow so as I said our uh, flow trigger should be when somebody joins the segment I'm really curious if there is any template by the way uh, for this how we usually just do it so let's say VIP flow test and create this flow okay and then segment and uh, you just look for the segment name uh, this is what I created and if you want you can add any flow triggers we usually don't do it because people uh, let's say uh, somebody purchased at least five times so it can happen only once right there is no chance somebody can join this flow twice so now I won't use any uh, filters done and voila here's the flow and then uh, let's say they join the VIP customer flow say that so they just purchased for the fifth time they will join this flow and uh, they will receive the first email immediately this is the structure of this flow basically email number one one hour after trigger uh, we can do it in this way maybe you don't know but it's also useful maybe we don't need like one hour I think like 10 minutes enough or, or 30 minutes but why we are doing this because there is some delay between the integration of Shopify and Klaviyo so yeah sometimes if you send an email immediately even those people they can get this email who just abandon their car or, or they are in a different flow so that that's why we like using it so it's just a technical thing and then a uh, second email comes out one day later so one day and then this email and then the next one seven days later at the time delay here seven days now I won't build it further but basically se every seven day so as you can see this uh, this flow spans across more than three weeks and uh, we want to approach them with different uh, offers in the first email um, we come 
congratulate them for becoming a VIP and give them a discount code. So again, discount code is the least creative way to handle them, but now it's just a basic flow. Basically, you want to introduce your VIP offer. Add the best, best seller feed at the bottom of the email to show them other products that they could use their discount on. Uh, here we give them 15 or 20% uh, discount, call to action. Uh, we can use two CTAs in this email that leads to the home page. So yeah, pretty, pretty simple email. We also give an urgency of uh, 48 hours uh, and after this code expires. When it comes to the coupon code for new subscribers, let's say you give five, 10% for customers, you can give 15%, let's say 10, 15. And for VIPs, you can get, you can give 15, 20, 25. So basically as they engage and purchase more and more, you want to give them bigger and bigger incentives. That's the logic behind it. Um, later you in the second email you can remind them that the discount code will expire in 24 hours and uh, again you just uh, give them a bestseller feed they can use these products to buy email number three here we tell them that you can become a brand ambassador and we ask customers more about themselves why they love the products how they found out about us and if they want to be a brand ambassador you want to tell them the perks uh, for example, recently I just did it with our own subscribers. So we just rewarded one of them with a Amazon gift card of $70. And that's why, you know, some of them, they completed the survey. That's just an easy example. We didn't ask anyone to be an ambassador, but you can do it. And I think you should do it. And you really want to engage with your VIP customers. Email number four, we tell them about our collections. We do a quick exploration of our product lines and talk about the different products they could try and their benefit at customer reviews at the bottom so here you so you want to show them the collections right and uh, you want to talk more about the products so it's not just sales but here you want to share more about your vision also how you are different and uh, you want to talk about the story of your products how you came up with them so here this one is story time email number five in this email we ask customers for feedback how they like like our products ordering process ideas for improvement again we want to make them feel their opinion matters we want to make it a two-way conversation this can be a survey but I could see some brands who actually provide their phone number or people they can book a call with the founder they just send the calendly link in this email so there are many many creative ways you can implement and that's how you can beat your damn competition so that's email 5 and uh, we usually test at least two subject lines we keep the call to action short here are a few examples of the copy as you can see it's pretty short and also the subject lines are short so you know you don't have to over complicate these people they love being a VIP welcome to the club hey you just became a VIP and that's it you give them an urgency in the first two emails you only have uh, 24 hours to use it don't forget your VIP discount and so on and so on and then email number free do you want to be an ambassador I think in the in your email you can even write more about the perks actually email four um, it's clear that you like our products and we are thrilled about that but you have tried them all yet and then here you can talk about your product and then the last one is uh, asking for feedback could you reply to this email and let us know about your experience replying is good it works if uh, people are highly engaged with your brand but I think a survey or a phone call call is even better so you can use different ways how to ask for their feedback but you know ultimately these are the these are the ways how you can uh, create these emails and you don't have to over complicate it again I'm a huge fan of simplicity and clarity so this is how you can build your VIP flow and really take uh, your relationship with these best customers to the next level hey Budai Nation I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure that you go down and you subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell so you get updated of my newest videos. And our mission here at Budai Media is to help at least 1,000 e-commerce stores grow and scale by focusing on their most loyal, their highest value customers. Because we can see too many, they just focus on acquisition, which I don't think the right mindset in e-commerce. Also, in the description, you will find a 50-point checklist that you can freely download and uh, you can audit your own e-commerce email marketing. This is what we use with our clients.
hands as well. And finally, before I leave, let me give you one more video. The YouTube algorithm will show it for you based on your personalized history on YouTube. So make sure you check it out as well and see you in my next video. Thank you.